Hi there, Chris here. And I got Slinky over here. <laughs> she's not much for looking at the camera. But she's <laughs> she likes to sit here. So um, I'm going to do this, hopefully, this little Avis oval, oval that I just uh, got. There's no key to it. It has a nasty keyway. But first, I wanted to show this Nabob um, Murloc. Just picked one of these in a challenge lock from West Coast Picks. <laughs> now... <laughs> they are tough out of the box. They're um, five pins, bottom all pin and pin, top all pin and pin, and sprung with a little spring in there. And this is mine. They're made in Israel. Um, and it came with a card. <laughs> so you know they're not screwing around. That's the bidding. I'm just trying to learn this one. So I only have two pins in it, and it's still... <laughs> Still a pain, but more on this one later. So, um, let's see if we can get into this guy. That is a nasty keyway. And I think I used this guy. Oh, you know, it is so tight, even my small one does not fit in there. So, I do something that I rarely do is go bottom of the keyway and I use the that part of it. And I've experimented around with a bunch of different picks, but the only one that seems to get me very far is this one and only um, pick that I made a long time ago. And uh, I think it's 16 or 18 thousandths. So let's see if we can get in here. I believe it's a six pin. I don't think there's any security pins in it. One, two, three, drop something. It's really tough towards the back. This is what I would like, maybe a little holder. Um, fish picks just showed super clamp, sure clamp. Some, it's a little, it's a little one with the little jaws on it. And I thought, well, I might try that. I'm not much for vices, and I've ordered one, and we'll see if it comes. Definitely, this is giving me grief. I think that was the name of the challenge lock that Murloc picked, the Nabob. There we go. Okay, we are open, so don't lock it up, because I don't have a key. Avis. 
So, is this the one? I think so. Oh, my fingers are slippery. Okay. How about that, Slinky? Is that good? <laughs> she, she doesn't talk like uh, Suki. Suki's asleep on the dryer. She's had her multiple breakfasts. She's gone back to sleep. Okay, so far so good. And it's kind of... <coughs> you have to kind of jam that to get over little humps. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. So here we go. All six pins, they all had to be picked. And the way it picked, it might have wafers in it. Yep. One two wafers running everywhere. Three, four, <laughs> totally wafered, wafered out. So those look like lab pins with the wafers. I might take the wafers out. Doesn't seem to be any, any scoring in the core. Are we in focus? Is it my glasses that are dirty? Is it the shim that needs to come out? Yes. I do love ovals, and I didn't have a Avis oval. So one is standard, two is standard, three is standard. What do you bet they're all gonna be the same? Because these all look like the same size as well. And they all look like copper springs. There they are. So it's very cool. This came from Australia. I'll give this a close up. So totally wafered out. Anyway, I'm happy that I could get in with my little homemade. <laughs> my little homemade pick that I haven't really finished. I did put this wrap on it, which works, and it, yeah, it works fine. So I think I'll probably keep it that way. Oop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like and give a comment. Um, we will see you next time.